Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to take a look at how we go about creating a directory of recipients that we can use inside of Mail Merge in our Microsoft Word program. And so to start this process, I have a new document open, and I'm going to go up here to my Microsoft ribbon, and I'm going to click on Mailings. From the ribbon, I'm going to go over to the Start Mail Merge group. And I'm going to find the icon for Start Mail Merge. I'm going to pull down this window, and from the context menu, I'm going to select Step by Step Mail Merge Wizard. From the right window pane, we have a number of options. We're going to select the radio button for directory. Go ahead and select that. And down here at the bottom, click Next Starting Document. Now, from here, we're going to select Use the Current Document. So all we have to do is go back down to the bottom and where it says next, select recipients. Let's go ahead and click that. And from the right window pane, we're going to make sure that that radio button is selected for use an existing list. And we're going to browse on over to our Excel spreadsheet that has our contacts and all their information. To do this, I'm going to go over here to the right window pane sure that that radio button for use an existing list is checked and now you can browse now i'd also like to mention real quickly that you can pull in your contacts from outlook and you can also create a new list manually but in this case we have the excel spreadsheet so let's go ahead and import that information and so here's my excel spreadsheet with my list of recipients i'm just going to go ahead and double click it now, when this window pops up, all you have to do is just say OK. So Mail Merge looked at the fields inside of my Excel spreadsheet and brought all of those fields in. And it also brought in all of the contact information or the recipient's information under each one of those fields. And that's what we're looking at. So with this information being presented to us, we have to now decide what type of directory do I want to create? Do I want the usernames and their mailing addresses? Do I want the usernames, their mailing addresses, and their phone number? Or do I just want the users' names and their email addresses? So you've got a number of options here for directories that you can create. Once you've decided on what type of directory you're going to create, go ahead and count the number of fields that you want in the directory. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six on this one directory for just the users, their title, and their address, city, and state. But instead of having a field in my directory that's going to include the city and the state, I'm going to combine the city and the state with the address. So let's see how we do this. To begin with, I'm going to create four columns on my directory. But those four columns are going to contain six data types. I'm going to have a column for the last name, a column for the first name, the title, the address, and in the address column, I'm going to include the city and the state. Go ahead and click OK. Now, to help keep our directory organized and to look professional, let's go ahead and insert a table. So I'm going to go up here to insert, and I'm going to bring in a table. I'm going to bring in one, two, three, four columns. Go ahead and click on that. These cells are going to contain the data fields that we want to import into our directory. And so we can add and we can delete these cells as we see fit as we're going through this process. So nothing in here is permanent. Everything in here is dynamic. So once you have your table inserted, go on back on over to the right window pane, go on down, and we're going to click where it says next arrange your directory and here on the right window pane we're going to go down to where it says more items now in this first cell I want to go ahead and have the title I'm going to go ahead and insert that and I have to close this out and open again each time I go into another cell so I'll close that out I'll go into my next cell I'll go back on over I will click on more items and now I will add in last name. Close it out. Go to my next cell. More items. First name. Insert. Close. 
go to my last cell here and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start spacing these just a little bit differently so I'm going to go ahead and give me some space here because this address here is going to get a little long with the city and the state information so once you have your cells organized just go ahead and click in that last remaining cell go back on over for more items and now you can add in the address insert close give it a couple spaces go back on over to more items add in the city insert close give it a couple spaces click on more items and the state insert and close we're now ready to preview what our directory is going to look like when we click go ahead and complete the mail merge wizard but down here we do have an option to preview before we commit so I'm going to go ahead and preview the directory and you see that my spacing needs to be adjusted just a little bit so I'm going to go back on over here I'm going to move this on over just a little bit I might move this one over just a little bit as well and then a lot of space there for the title so let's move that on over and you just keep moving things around till you get to where you want it and now you're going to have an excellent looking directory and you also notice that we now have enough room in here for let's say a phone number or for an email address if that's what you want and to do that that's not very hard we would just go ahead and click inside this last cell and we would insert a column to the right if that's what we wanted to do but I'm not going to do that right now now I'm just going to go ahead and do a previous and I'm going to preview one more time what my directory is going to look like when I finalize and that looks pretty good I kind of like that so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click next complete the merge on this final step where we complete the merge we're going to click on the option to new document that's where we're sending all this information to once we click on this this little window pops up and it's going to ask us what records do you want to merge and we're going to select all and go ahead and click OK and there is your directory all nicely formatted and organized and now if we just go ahead and select that first row we get into the layout from here we can go on over underneath the rows and columns and we can select to insert a row above we can now label each one of our columns let's go ahead and start off with title and we'll do last name next we'll do the first name go ahead and move over just a little bit and we'll move over our last row there just a little bit more and here we have address and in this last cell we'll type in address give it a space city give it another space and state if you would like to go ahead and fill in some color into this top row you can do so we can go over here to home and underneath paragraph we can select our theme colors and we can just pull this down and select whatever color we want we can then change the font color to white if that's what you like and there you go if you like to have a title for this particular directory you can just go ahead and grab your table move it down just a couple of spaces and now you can move your mouse in there and you can type in the name of your directory just like that you can now add this directory to the other directories that you have for mail merge into a folder that's probably going to be called mail merge directories and it'll be ready for you when it comes time for you to start doing that mass mailing so as you have seen using the mail merge wizard allows us to create different directories and if we have an excel spreadsheet with all of the information that we would require for each recipient we can pick and choose what data fields we want to include in each one of these different directories we want to create using the mail merge wizard i'm professor k thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video